सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल वंस अगेन सो आई वॉज गेटिंग लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग एनमेट सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ वन इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो अबाउट एनमेट हाउ टू गो थ्रू हाउ टू अप्रोच एंड ऑल सो फॉर दैट वी हैव अर स्पेशल गेस्ट माई फ्रेंड माई रूममेट मिस्टर सुमित यादव तो दोस्तों मैं सुमित यादव तो, तो हम इस वीडियो में ट्राई करेंगे कि सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको पहुंचा दें एंड वील ट्राई टू मेक यू सक्सेस इन द एग्जाम यस सो अंत तक बने रहे कुछ भी क्वेरी कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो कमेंट सेक्शन में डाल दे सो लेट्स पी सो बेसिकली वॉट इज एनमेट सो एनमेट नेशनल मेडिकल एडमिशन टेस्ट इन फिलीपींस तो आपको जब भी मेडिकल कॉलेज में एडमिशन लेना है सो पहले एन में देना पड़ेगा लाइक नीट फॉर इन इंडिया वी गिव नीट टू गेट एडमिशन इन एम बी बी एस ओके सो नीट इज इयर एंड एनमेट इज इयर सो डू नॉट कंपेयर विद इट इज बिग डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन सो अभी रजिस्ट्रेशन चल रहा है एक अगस्त से फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट टू टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर दो इन फिलीपींस कैन रजिस्टर देर एंड गिव द एग्जाम इन द कमिंग डेट्स अभी ये ऑनलाइन ही चल रहा है सो आप फिलअप कर दो फॉर्म वगैरह एंड यू विल ट्राई टू गिव यू मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग एग्जाम सो बने रहा है या वी अटेम्प्टेड द एग्जाम इन ऑफलाइन मोड विच वॉज वेरी लेंदी एंड इट टू कार होल डे वी वॉज जस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड नथिंग एल्स सो दिस टाइम इट इज गुड फॉर यू दैट यू हैव टू गिव इट ऑनलाइन एंड इट इज ऑफ Nearly two and a half hours, or so let me check. Yeah, two and half hour and fifteen minutes for the first part, and there will be second part also after the ten minutes break, which is of one hour and thirty minutes. So it is very easy. You will get one twenty questions from the first part, and also similar in the second part. Yes. That is one twenty questions total, two forty questions for both parts. Yes. सो अभी पार्ट अभी शुरू करते हैं पार्ट वन से सो पहले पार्ट वन में क्या क्या रहता है और उसका थोड़ा फिफ्टी एक्सप्लेन करेंगे सो लेट्स सो इन फर्स्ट पार्ट सो वी हैव देर इज अ डिवाइडेड इन फोर लाइक वी हैव वर्बल फर्स्ट देन वी हैव इंडक्टिव रीजनिंग देन क्वान्टिटिटी देन परसेप्चुअल इक्विटी सो इन वॉट इज इन द वर्बल in verbal you will get analogies and reading comprehension analogies are basically if you are good in english then it will be easy for you you will get synonyms and antonyms and something like that the kind of you you should have the good knowledge of vocabulary and in the reading comprehension you you will get the paragraph like we used to give the board exam they will get the paragraph and then we have to find the answer in that so it is similar to that reading comprehension second part is inductive reasoning yeah so in inductive reasoning we have like figure series so that there will be figure we have to identify similar kind of figure okay so we will provide the example in the screen as you can see and then we have figure grouping and number and letter series so we will explain in detail in inductive reasoning figure series you will get three op- options in the questions so you will get three figures like first uh, let's assume that we have a triangle in the first image and second image is square then the third image is uh, pentagon then in the options you get uh, you have to guess the next image that that will be of six sides now yes. so you can guess that image you, it is very easy you can get the marks yes. very easily these are free marks if you mm-hmm. ask that yeah. much then uh, next we have later series right no yeah, figure grouping of okay, a figure grouping yeah in this you will get the group of figures where you have to find out uh, take take out the wrong image like there will be four images in the questions you have to imagine you have to <laughs> scroll your mind yeah. and then you have to find the one image that is odd of them all odd of them. yeah yes yes another is the number and letter series yeah like they give like 1 3 5 7 7 then guess it will be 9 like yeah. then it figures uh number and letters like a b c d then what a b c d e Yeah. so there will be e like number and letter series so in the third part we will get the quantitative here you can see we will find the fundamental operations word problems and data interpretation fundamental operations are very easy it will be good for those who are good in maths yes you will get some word problems data you will you will find the graphs in this word problems and data interpretation these are all this quantitative part is basically related to the math Yes. scholars if yes. you are good in maths go for it you will be good going the fourth part 
his perceptual equity you will find the hidden figures yes we are like hidden figures mirror images like star you have to find star same like mirror image then we have identical information the the last one identical information in the uh, perce- perceptual equity part all is a very you know easy one and you can get uh, all marks it's free marks like uh, easy we can get yeah like you have the answers in that yeah. exam only we have just identify in the last like identical information they will provide the one graph you have to match same graph in your option it will be easy very same thing and a mirror image you can understand yeah but it will take your mind yeah out because you yeah. have to go through your brain same same no, no mistake one word there will be one word mistake only you have to choose correctly wisely carefully <laughs> if like we talk about the identical information there will be a sentence you have to just focus on the question that what this sentence is written like if there is a comma then you have to find the <laughs> in the options there will be four options those four will be same, same. but there will be minor mistakes like if in one option the comma will be missing yeah. in the second option there will, will be the full stop problem then bracket or the spacing problem then yeah. you have to just guess the same sentence which is written in the questions these are free marks you yeah. can get good marks in the part 1 yes yeah Le- actually last time ye mera part favorite raha tha ye perceptual equity wala pura dhoondne ka hi rehta tha pura like mirror images and identical information main isme ek bhi marks nahi choda so like aise hi part 1 rehta hai like aapko sequence mein kaise like approach kaise kare aap kaise sequence kare ji sequence ki baat like if you want to attempt the exam then i will suggest you that go for uh, reading comprehension it to consist of the paragraph and then you have to find the answers uh, you can go for the perceptual equity because the answers in that and you have to just find them okay. but do it quickly yeah uh-huh. the second is quantitative if you are good in maths good jews are good in maths <laughs> <laughs> yeah so they will do this like, part very good yeah. properly and you can go for inductive reasoning yes before quantitative if you are not good in maths mm-hmm. yes then verbal are uh, like those who are good in english like you have more yeah, you will find difficulty in analogies because there there will be some difficult words and some key terms regarding uh, medical and other, other deep yeah. english words yes. which can't be spoken by me <laughs> <laughs> yes me too ओके सो लाइक ऐसे रहता है पार्ट वन में सो लेट्स डू अबाउट द पार्ट टू सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट टू सो बेसिकली पार्ट टू में फोर सब्जेक्ट्स का रहता है सो वी हैव बायोलॉजी केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स एंड सोशल साइंस सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोलॉजी बायोलॉजी इफ यू अटेम्प्ट नीट देन प्रॉपरली या इफ यू अटेम्प्ट देन नीट प्रॉपरली देन यू माइट गेट good marks yes. by just revising the same topics the, the biology the physics and the chemistry part is not too lengthy because our indian education system is very good regarding these topics and we can just do this exam very neat and clear way yeah so any topics about biology any important topics you can give we can say that yeah, discuss uh, you can read about osmosis and you should know about the basis of basic about cell uh, you can uh, prepare circulatory system no, uh, nervous system immune system ecosystem is very easy to uh, you prepare 11th ncrt okay it is enough 12th ncrt is basically about uh, plants and genomics so just read through that also you don't have to worry about biology and <coughs> physics is also easy because in india we get more numerical questions and those are very typical but here when i attempted the exam that was offline the physics questions were not too hard i'm also very weak in physics but still i did many questions <laughs> i won't tell you the exact number <laughs> so and the physics is also easy you will get basic uh, you should know the basic of everything in physics also you will get good marks also there will be less numerical problems basically one or two you can skip them okay. then about the chemistry chemistry you prepare um, organic chemistry and 
uh, then environmental chemistry which conserves proteins, fats and acid and bases. Yeah, metabolism. Yeah, you should remember the periodic table. Oh yeah, that also important. Mm. Basic of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is very good topic because if you prepare therm thermodynamics, you will get this topic in physics also and you get this in chemistry also. Yes. Solutions is also, kinetics is also kind of easy, not too easy. And yes. hybridization bonds, these are also good topics. Just prepare, just go through the basic of everything. <coughs> Search for the syllabus online of the NMET and read everything. We will provide you the link of the topics in biology. There will be some important topics and those are good files prepared from that. And about social science, so last we have social science. So social science is up to you, how can you do? Because it's all about the Philippine social science, not Indian social science. Even we don't know about our Indian social science much. How can we remember the Philippines social science? So just go through it. If you know, do otherwise Tukka is ready. Just do any. After so, you have to give the exam, you have to attempt all the questions. All the questions. There is no negative marking. Yeah. So attempt all. Do not skip any. You can get good marks in NMET. Yeah, it's it's kind of easy, right? Yeah, don't think too much about NMET, NMET, NMET. Yeah. Just prepare your topics, go through some quantitative problems. For part one, you can prepare it by online. There will be many mock tests, you can find yeah. them. And if you search the NMET previous year questions, just prepare from there and you can find similar questions in the exam also. Yeah, some of them, yeah. yes, most of them. At our times, we find many questions yeah. similar to the mock test questions. So each word was seen. That was also very easy thing. So that's it. that's all about the part one and part two. How we can approach and we to discuss as much as we can. So like that's it with the video. So or kuch aap bolna chahoge ki students ko ki kya kya cheeze apne mind mein rakhe during the exam. Yeah. Okay, I will say that just don't worry about the exam too much. Don't get pressurized by the exam. Just have the tension about the time while doing the exam. You will get limited time and you have to attempt all the questions. And you have to also score good to get this admission in the med school. There will be a lot of time for some questions. Then there will be limited time for some questions. Just don't get stuck on one question. If you are not getting the answer of that question, just skip that question and move to the next. If you get Time, you get the time at the last of the exam then go for that same question again and try so that's it for the video if you have any queries any question regarding NMET or anything put it in the comment box we'll cover whenever i get time so here you can see our instagram handles go there follow like share and subscribe to this channel also go for the shredded medico <laughs> yes increase the subscribers so basically he is yeah. Scored good in uh, NMET in first attempt. Uh, yes, uh, he has lots of knowledge about it. That's why I invite him for this video. So that's it for the video. Milte hai aise video mein. Tab tak liye ap sab ke liye exam ke liye good luck. So tab tak the milte hai. Aur aane aage aane wale videos ke liye bhi bane rahe. Dhanyawad. Dhanyawad. दबला चल अब हमारे भी खाने का टाइम होगा चल रहे दबला या जल्दू